Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Tim. I'm stuck in traffic, so you know what that means. It's time for a podcast. Here's the question. What's going on inside the minds of top achievers that cause them to make extraordinary breakthroughs both personally and professionally? My name is Tim Schur, and I invite you to join me as we take a deep dive into the unconscious mind and discover how to transform your biggest dreams into a reality. Welcome to the How to Be Mesmerizing Podcast. Hey everybody, today's program is on getting people to do things for you. So one of the secrets that I have found, and I've definitely learned this myself, is that some of the most successful people in the world, the reason that they're so successful is because they have learned how to delegate. They have learned how to do what they are best at and how to get other people to do everything else. In fact, Jan Canfield, um, one of the co-authors of Chicken Soup for the Soul series, Uh, He wrote a book called Success Principles, and one of the principles was um, definitely pay other people to do the stuff that you don't like to do. And uh, for example, he said he hated grocery shopping. And when he thought about having to go to a grocery store, having to drive there, having having to shop, having to uh, wait in a long line, having to drive home, having to put it all away... He said it would often take him an hour and a half to two hours to grocery shop and he didn't like the experience. When he thought about how much he might charge somebody for those two hours of service, he realized that uh, he was actually losing a ton of money by doing an activity that he could pay somebody else to do. Now, there are services where you can actually um, put your order in online and then drive right up and it's curbside service where they will grocery shop for you, right? Now, not everybody is going to do this, right? Not everybody can afford to do this, but you'd be surprised what you can afford once you get clear on the importance of it, right? Because we're going to spend our money either way. Money comes in and money leaves every single month. And so if we realize that there are activities that are taking up a lot of time that we don't enjoy, We might put our funds towards that as opposed to going out to dinner or going to a movie or, you know, buying a bunch of junk food or what have you. So when you think about, all right, what are all the activities that I do? And is there a way to be able to um, get other people to help out with this? So I was talking to some friends the other day. We were talking about um, all kinds of things that are happening in our world because of technology and somebody mentioned that uber was putting together um uh trying to set up a system for carpooling children right where you would actually know who the people are that um and you would interview them and they would have ratings and they'd have everything else so that your kids would be safe because you know the last thing you want is some stranger picking up your kids right and so um but there's so many people that are um shuffling their kids you know I was talking to a mom yesterday and she says you know when when my husband and I had our two kids it was it felt like equal you know we could each take one but then we had a third child and it's like what do we do now how are we supposed to be at three places at once and if you don't have family around to help out with that then it can get really insane and I know my wife and I have literally just got exhausted and run down from doing everything that we normally have to do and then on top of it running our our kids around with their busy schedules and it would become just exhausting. You know, we felt like we were professional uh, limo drivers, <laughs> right? Just driving everybody around. And most peer parents feel that way. So, you know, to have someone be able to carpool your kids where you knew they were safe and they were going to get where they were supposed to be on time, that would free up, you know, a lot of time. And it would be worth the investment to do something like that, right? So um, I had the experience again. Uh, I had somebody who asked me, you know, uh, we did a a podcast and they said, hey, if you have any social media images that, um, you know, promote this podcast that you want me to send out, that'd be great. And I did not have one. And my first thought was, let me create one, right? And then my second thought was, I shouldn't be creating this. One, I'm not that good at it. And two, that's something that I could hire somebody else to do and they could have it done. And I actually went through Fiverr.com and for... Uh, the five bucks plus the $2 service fee. So for $7, I had somebody in India design a a beautiful graphic. He actually did a great job. I've hired lots of freelancers over the years and um, you go through a lot of them until you find one who's really good. And I just did. 
I just found someone who just crushed it. He, and he was up working while I was sleeping because we're on different time zones. And when I woke up in the morning, he had three different revisions. Um, I sent back, here's a quick um, tweak on it. And it was fabulous, right? It was beautiful. And there's no way I would have been able to do that if I would have spent two hours on it. Right, so instead, I gave somebody seven bucks while I was sleeping, and it was great. And I felt proud to be able to send that to um, to him. Right, and so it was so good. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna have this guy um, do this for every podcast now, and that's gonna save me so much time because if I would have spent two hours trying to create this graphic or even an hour, you know, that what's your time worth? You know, for me, my time is worth you know, between 300 and, you know, $3,000 an hour, uh, depending on what I'm doing. And so, you know, should I really be spending my time trying to create a, uh, a graphic? You know, I think not. <laughs> okay. I should be giving that to somebody else. And my two hours should be spent, um, doing what I'm really good at, which is helping people. Right. And so, um, so again, You've got to think about where are you spending a lot of time and what are you doing that you don't want to be doing? You know, like I don't want to, I don't like doing taxes. So, you know, I pay my accountant to do my taxes and, um, you know, even filing my state and, and federal taxes every month, um, you know, I pay him extra. So it costs me extra because I'm paying somebody else to do what I most certainly could do. Uh, but I don't like to do it. And, I don't want to have to remember, right? I've got so many things going on. And if I forget to pay my taxes, that's not good, right? So I have my accountant do that, okay? So um, just make a list of all the things that you have to do and start asking yourself, is it possible that there might be somebody that could help you with this? Now, often, because of how we're wired, our first response is usually no, or I don't know anybody, or I don't have time to find anybody, or I can't afford to do that. All our fears and excuses come up first. And what you gotta do is say, yes, okay, sure. All of that is valid. But if it was possible, and it there was a possibility, you know, that this could work out, would I be open to it? Because the first thing you do is gotta get yourself open to the possibility, because otherwise, you're just gonna shoot down any opportunity before you even have the chance to think about it. You know, people often say, oh, I tried that before and it didn't work out. Oh, I've hired people before and they weren't any good. Oh, I've done this. Oh, I've tried to have a personal assistant or oh, I've tried to hire somebody or oh, I asked, you know, my neighbors, we were gonna carpool and I was the only one doing it. Oh, 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 you know, there's always a reason for why it doesn't work out. But the people who are most successful, they keep trying, they keep going for it. You know, you got to mine through a lot of mud until you find that gold nugget. And that's basically what you're doing. Except instead of looking for gold nuggets, you're looking for golden people who can help you out. And there are people out there that would be willing to do it. There's people out there that um, are retired. There's people out there that are lonely, looking for something to do. There's people out there that are talented. Um, there's, you know, people out there that are willing to help you out just because they've been there and they understand how it is. And your job is to put the vibe out into the universe, pay attention to the clues and the opportunities that show up and act upon them. If I wanted to have reached out for another graphic designer and took another shot, then, you know, I'd still be sitting here struggling, you know, worrying about making a graphic instead of it's already done and off my mind. And I've already hired him for a bunch of other jobs because he was great. And, uh, and so it works out. So that's my message for today. It's short and simple and sweet. Who can help you get where you're going and who loves to do the stuff that you don't like to do? And how do you start to enroll them and get them to help you, right? So start looking for that today and you'll be excited that you did. All right, I'm here um, picking up my son. So I hope you have an awesome day. Make today a sure success and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, would you like more free tips on how to be a mesmerizing leader? Then check out mesmerizingleadership.com and also hang out with me on Facebook facebook.com forward slash Tim Sure. Thanks so much and make your day a sure success.